Hi, this is Paul from Wave5Trade.com and today is Friday the 6th of April 2018 and this is my daily video. So on Fridays I like to look at an example from our Stocks Signals membership on the weekly time frame. So a longer term swing, um, maybe an investment, something like that. Uh, so always looking at longs on Friday if possible. So very briefly in our members area for the Wave5 Trade Stocks Signals we go into the members area and we our members get potential longs and short trades every day on weekly daily and 60 minute time frames so on the potential longs for example they just click on the image and download the spreadsheet so have a look what the spreadsheet looks like for today obviously after a rather longer term pullback we do have quite a lot on the weekly so this is a spreadsheet for today. As you can see, we've got Facebook in there, Citigroup. There's quite a lot now on the weekly time frame looking for that potential fifth wave move higher. They've pulled back with finding support. So let's have a look at the chart and see what I've chosen today. So from the scanner membership, I've chosen CDNS on the weekly time frame. So for now, I've zoomed right out. This is the Elliott Wave Indicator Suite from Wave 5 Trade for the Ninja Trader platform. And also, we provide it for Think or Swim, Trade Station, and Multi Charts. I just wanted to zoom all the way back out to 2010 to the lows here to show those members that have the the wave indicator suite I've isolated all the way down at those lows and as you can see we've quite corrective all the way through uh, up until 2017 then we had this big move now this is really the trend we're tracking and the pullback we want to pull back on so as you can see when we've isolated all the way down here we've got a lot of corrections and all of a sudden we've got the wave one the wave two and then the big wave three move and now we've pulled back and find support in there so let's zoom in and have a closer look at this okay so initially remember on our scan results we're looking for basic filters so the first filter is the 535 oscillators pulled back between 90 and 140 percent for the highest point on the wave three that's good it's a tick in the box the stochastic has pulled back against our false breakout dots here into the oversold zone we're looking for that to cross over and move higher also the wave force pulled back into our amber zone remember this is the weekly chart so each candle is a week we seem to have found really good support in the amber zone here previous resistance level back here on the left let's just draw that in so we've got this previous resistance level which now seems to be acting as support the amber zone is an 80% probability it's going to go on and make a new wave 5 high into our automated target zone up here around about $49. So let's have a look at the entry a little bit more closely now. We've got to consider these two previous attempts to move away from this pullback that failed. So we need to be higher than those, but also we need to be outside of the 6-4 moving average high. Uh, this is the 6 4 moving average, either green here. This is part of the Elliott Wave indicator suite. And we are looking for our conservative entry outside of that for next week's candle position. And to be honest, I don't think it will trigger. So we will see the 6 4 moving average level out and bottom out here. But we'll also be above these pivot points. So quite a sensible entry at 40.53 to go long on CDNS. So this is a swing trade on a weekly time frame. So this could take up to six months to reach target. Now, don't get me wrong, some of these can take seven weeks and they hit target very quickly. Depends on how much bullish momentum is in the markets. So all we're doing at this moment is identifying potential longer term swing trades off the weekly time frame. And CDNS at this point in time looks like a really good opportunity if we can move away from this support level right here. It does seem to have run out of juice on this pullback. All we need is a little bit of positive sentiment and Trump stop talking about China and tariffs and things like that. And we will uh, see this turn 
to go to the upside so the stop loss is just below the wave for low so yesterday it would have the the software once the market opens will print a new wave for low for yesterday's low so we've got a stop loss around about th sorry this week's low um, 3538 stop loss 4053 entry and the target around about $49 into our uh, target zone there maybe up as, as high as $50 it could push through but at this moment in time all we're doing is trying to build that watch list of potential longer term swings and I'll do this every Friday uh, to add to your portfolios so that's it for today have a great trading day great weekend and I'll speak to you all next week